Welcome back, Drink Stuff fans. In today's video, I've got another pr uh, product showcase for you. Uh, we're going back to fruits for drinks. Now, uh, I have rocked these al out already on this channel and told you all about them, so I'm not going to dive into too much detail. I've got what I'm going to do in this video is just purely for some inspiration of what you can and can't do with them. Um, now, uh, regular viewers amongst you will know that I've kind of been rocking out uh, these that Drink Stuff also sell, ODK. I just want to do the very quick caveat before we dive in. Um, I've got no brand preference here. I'm not saying one's better than the other. It's not what I'm here for. They're just very different kind of things. These are dehydrated fruits uh, and these are freeze-dried fruits, okay? So for me personally, they have a different use, but I'm not here to sway you in any direction. You can hit me up on my own channel, slide, in, slide into my DMs and I'll talk you through my personal choices of what I would use and for what and kind of uh, what cocktails and drinks and that sort of stuff. But for this, I'm just here to show you a couple of cool things you can do. So uh, these have come out of Drink Stuff showroom, so I'm not opening them all up. They kind of need to sit in the showroom. So I've just opened up the raspberry for now, but this will work for the raspberry, the strawberry, and the blueberry there. Maybe you could try it with the orange, lime, and lemon as we want to. But what I've got, I've got a little mini cocktail here to start off with. If you've tuned into my other channel, you will know exactly what's coming here because I've done this quite a few times. I think it's a really cool garnish. I just haven't had any uh, freeze-dried fruit to do it with for ages and ages. Uh, so there's two things you can do. All I've got, and I'll show you up on the close-up, I've put a few little berries, uh, a few little raspberries in the bottom of there, and I've just got my um, my little back end of my bar spoon, and I've just kind of crushed them down. Now, when freeze-dried, when they are properly, properly dry, and they've, that no air has got into them, they will be perfect in there. What I've done with some of mine in the past, I've actually used a coffee grinder, uh, because I've done them in big batches if I'm doing lots and lots of cocktails. So, uh, coffee grinder, that you do your beans, put them all in there, and you kind of blitz them up, and you can kind of do whatever you want then, but just I used to keep them in a little Tupperware. So the first thing you can kind of do, uh, and this is the fun thing, I just, so I've got some blitzed up kind of raspberry and this would be perfect for your French martinis and cocktails like that. We just kind of drizzle some or pour some just on top and hopefully you can see that on the close up camera. I'll try, I can't tilt it too much, but hopefully you can kind of see what that's done there. And that'll give, a really cool stunning effect for your cocktails. I, as I say, I really love that idea. I've been doing that for ages, especially if you couple it with something like the foamers as well. They, those two things go hand in hand. The, the garnishes, the decoration you can do with this is just kind of perfect. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you that you can kind of do as well, um, and I haven't got a little plate in here, so I'm gonna have to do it on a, a cocktail napkin. Hopefully this will work. So I'm just gonna pour uh, these out on on the cocktail napkin, there you go. You get, if you grind it up even more, you get lots of powder, which is cool. The cool thing you can do is like rim your glass as well. So instead of doing the whole salt rim or things like that, you can kind of just do um, a fruit rim. Like, as I say, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, whatever you kind of fancy. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, just to kind of show you, just kind of there. Got to rub in a bit of lime. And then hopefully if we kind of do that, yeah, look at that. That's just where I've put it. And we kind of, that's just giving you a rough idea. You can go all the way around the glass if you wanted to and do like a little kind of raspberry, raspberry rim around your glass. So there's just a couple of ideas that you can do with uh, these fruits for drinks. Obviously they are designed to go in your drinks more than around your drinks, but I just think that's a really cool purpose. And especially if you're selling, or if you want to make a great impression, I think that is a perfect thing that you can do with them.